closest NASA spacecraft to the sun flew through a huge explosion on the sun, how it was. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. The Parker Solar Probe became the first spacecraft to fly through a coronal mass ejection on the sun. According to a study recently published in the Astrophysical Journal, the Parker spacecraft spent two days inside a powerful eruption of billions of tons of plasma. The closest spacecraft to the sun today is the Parker Solar Probe, launched into space five years ago to study our star. A group of scientists presented the results of a study of one of its approaches to the sun, which took place on September 22, 2022. At that time, Parker spent two days inside a coronal mass ejection, i.e. a huge stream of plasma ejected from the sun, at a distance of 9.2 million kilometers from the star's surface. The spacecraft was able to cross the leading edge of the ejection, the shock wave. For comparison, the distance from the sun to the Earth is 150 million kilometers, and from the sun to Mercury, the first planet from the sun, is 37 million kilometers. It means that the NASA spacecraft was almost four times closer to our star than the closest planet in the solar system. Everything that the solar probe saw at that time was recorded by its whisper instrument, and scientists created a unique video. According to the scientists, thanks to the Parker spacecraft, for the first time in history, they were able to observe a plasma eruption from such a close distance from the sun's surface. Before that, such a huge coronal mass ejection from that distance had never been recorded. When the Parker Solar Probe flew through the coronal mass ejection, its instruments recorded that the speed of the plasma particles reached 1350 km s, which means that it was one of the most powerful eruptions on the Sun. But the plasma flow did not fly toward the Earth, so there were no negative consequences. According to scientists, such plasma flows can cause such a strong geomagnetic storm that it can cause enormous damage to the economies of many countries. Coronal mass ejections often occur after solar flares and are associated with changes in the star's magnetic field lines. These lines break and then rejoin, leading to large-scale eruptions. If such a plasma flux is directed at the Earth, then upon reaching the planet, it can cause a geomagnetic storm. It can change the shape of the Earth's magnetic field and also causes very bright auroras. In addition to such harmless effects on the planet, geomagnetic storms have a negative side. They can cause serious damage to satellites, disrupt communication systems, and cause power outages. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.